Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Gurpreet from Dataviz Canvas and today I am going to share an interesting tip on how to show a zero value when a dashboard contains no data or a user filter out the data. I personally came across these issues multiple times while designing a dashboard and it's quite frustrating at times when we are trying to show a value in a banner or in a dashboard and it shows a blank space when there is no data in the dashboard. Well, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to overcome this scenario. And without any further delays, let's jump straight into it. So as you can see in this dashboard, I am trying to show the sales number for technology, furniture and office supply categories for whatever date we select from the filters. And at the bottom, I am just trying to show you the trend of the total sales number across multiple um, time series. So as you can see here, we have $554 for technology and furniture and office, different numbers. Um, and we are trying to show the sales number for each of these months. So when I try to change the month or the date to a different value, let's say we select here 6th of December 2019, you will see the technology number is blank. This is because there is no data or the no sales were made for technology on 6th of December. But instead of this, I want to see $0 value rather than just a blank. So that's what we are trying to achieve and it will look something like this. So this is another dashboard which I have already created and I'm trying to show how it will look like. So on 6th December, I want to show zero value. And when we go to 7th December, it will show us the different value. So in this case, if there is no data in the dashboard, it will still show us the zero value. So how we can achieve this and let's get started. So first of all, I will create another sheet where I'm just trying to show the banner and for banner, I normally create a curved rounded rectangle, which we can simply create by right clicking on the new sheet and annotate a point or an area. So in this case, in order to create a rectangular square or rectangular um, section curved area, I will click on area and select OK, you will see it started appearing here. And now I will simply create a placeholder number one in this case. Um, actually, just go back one step and I will format it first and change the coloring to whatever I want. And I will select those corners to be very rounded in this case. And then you can expand this and you will see how it will look like an entire view and I will create it one here and this is how it will look like and you can change the color so if you want a bit darker color you can do that so now we have the background created I will create another worksheet with the sales number for order date I want to select let's say we select the same value and we go down scroll down to the bottom and select let's say whichever number we want like 8th December click OK and I want to show the number as a text here so you can see it here it shows this number but I am only interested right now to show it for technology so I will bring the technology uh, category to the filter shelf and select technology and we will see the number this one and we'll do a bit of formatting by going to the text mark and select the font size to what we have for the other values and click bold it will look something like this now we will create a dashboard we will bring the background image which we just created by bringing into this shell uh, on the dashboard expanding it format the dashboard and you can choose whatever color you want in this case I'm using a black color and I will bring the sales number which we just created and pop it on the top here and we'll fit it to the entire view. So it will look something like this. And format, and in the background color, I don't want anything. So it will blend in, in the background area which we created, so we can see it here. So I will just format and align it to center. So this is what it will look like, right? Now, in order to achieve the similar results, so first of all, I will bring the filter on the dashboard for month, day and year 
and we will do the single value drop down and change the size of this one to let's say 50 and move it up on the right hand corner. So if we change it to let's say 6th of December, it will show us blank, right? So in this case, what we will do is we will create another text field and we'll bring drag the text onto the dashboard and we'll change it to zero dollar value increase the size to 36 and change it to black color bring it into the center and you can see here I will use the same dimension as of this one but before we do that we will just select the existing sales worksheet and go to the floating order and bring it to the front and this one we will do the same thing but first of all we will select this and do the same sizing so that this zero value sits behind this layer so 333 266 and height is 266 and 275 and 154 275 and 154 I prefer to use floating containers which is much more easier floating worksheet as well rather than tiles so you can play around with this if you want to use container then it's a bit tricky then you have to keep the container in different layers so you can move one container on the top and the other at the bottom so now you can see in front in the front we have the total sales 554 and in the back we have zero dollars but they are overlapping because it's just a layer transparent layer on the top and it is currently working but if you see here it shows the zero value but when we have 7 December it overlaps this is because the front layer which we have we are showing it as a text value right so in order to overcome this we will change the text mark to let's say a square and increase the size and in this case we'll do the entire view again and change the color to this one and now when we go back to the dashboard you will see this is now dynamic so the color matches with the background color and when we now change the date to 6 December when we filter out the data when there is no data you will see zero dollar at the back end so that's how we can achieve this result and that's how these things can be built on any section of the dashboard so I have done it for technology you can do the same thing for furniture office supply or whatever other banners you guys are using I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you want to see more of such videos, then please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. Thank you.